Hey, 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 we are live, and it is uh, time to bring back morning uh, coffee and marketing. Uh, I'm not going to be doing it from my couch like I used to. I'll be doing it from my little reading room. Ooh. Pretty little reading room. Ooh. And, uh, but uh, uh, I... Uh, <clears throat> Since this uh, uh, since this COVID thing broke out, I have been hard at work, busy at work with uh, uh, laying the groundwork for several different businesses. Hey, what's up, Ben? Uh, laying the groundwork for several different businesses and uh, uh, getting some uh, some bricks and mortar businesses and getting some some other things off and uh, you know up and running. Uh, I haven't been doing much client work. I, of course, maintained a few steady clients, but uh, I haven't been taking on many new clients. Uh, but I just started doing that recently. As a matter of fact, interestingly enough, uh, earlier this week, I decided it was time to start taking on some new clients. And lo and behold, a former client, uh, some new projects, rather, a former client of mine uh, called me and had a project he needed some help with. So that's uh, that's always nice when, uh, when you get those phone calls. But uh, the masks... Uh, now, first, let me tell you where I'm... Hey, what's up, Sean? Let me tell you where I'm coming from with the masks. I was in the remediation contracting business for 20 years. Um, I have gone through hundreds of hours, I'll bet. Uh, I haven't logged it, but hundred. if I go back and add it up, roughly hundreds of hours of OSHA training and research and learning about uh, studying personal protective equipment and how it works and what the limitations are and how it does, you know, what it, what it protects against, what it doesn't protect against, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In other words, I have a, a, a pretty substantial knowledge of the subject. Um, I know more than your doctor does. I'm not your doctor and I'm not a virologist, but when it comes to personal protective equipment, I know more than your doctor does. So anyway, that said, if you want to wear a mask, then wear a mask, and that's fine. Obviously, it's a free country, but it's useless when it comes to protecting you or protecting anybody else from the virus. A virus which, by the way, the latest uh, 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 mortality incident numbers seem that it's a little, it's a little more dangerous than the flu, but it's not the incredible, amazing plague that everybody thought it was going to be at first, including myself, by the way. I was really concerned about it when it first started. But uh, here's the point about the mask. The way that people are, the way the masks are being pushed is they're telling people, you need to wear a mask because if you're asymptomatic, you can still spread it to other people. So you need to wear a mask in order to protect other people. And that's what, that's what other folks are saying. You have to wear a mask to protect me. That's kind of the theme. That's kind of the, the, the ongoing message that's being uh, delivered. But here's the problem. If you make your health my responsibility, then I get a say in everything else you do. I get a say in what you eat. I get a say in how much you exercise. I get a say in the supplements you take. I get a say in how much you drink. I get a say in how much sleep you get. See, if your health is my responsibility, then I get to exert control and authority over that area of responsibility. So if you start telling me I have to wear a mask, that's fine. I'll wear a mask as long as we can go over the rules that you need to follow to make sure that you're taking care of your health too because your health is now my responsibility. That's the problem with the putting the health, putting uh, uh, your health on somebody else's shoulders. You have to wear a mask. Everybody else has to wear a mask to protect you. So, uh, what, what can that teach us about business? Hey, Leo. Uh, sorry, I got interrupted there for a second. It's simply this. In business, you have to take responsibility. Full, wholehearted, 100% unmitigated responsibility for every aspect of your business. Because the moment that you blame, the moment you start using language that says you blame somebody else, oh, my employees won't. Oh, a vendor is being difficult to deal with. Oh, that customer is a pain in the ass. The moment you start using language and start thinking in a manner that places blame or responsibility for your business on somebody else, that other person gets to exert control, authority, 
uh, uh, influence over the way that your business is run, and they can inhibit the success of your business. Now, you can certainly seek out smart people who are on your side, who are working, you know, who, who are encouraging you, and you can have those smart people work with you and, and, uh, and perhaps allow them to have a positive influence on your business. That's great. But don't allow outside people to have an influence on your business by pretending that they're the ones who are responsible for the problems in your business. If you're not hitting your sales goals, it's not that the salesmen suck. It's not that your sales manager's lazy. It's that you're not doing what needs to be done. So you need to figure out what that is, take control of it, and move forward with it. Because the only way that you can achieve success in business, unless you're just incredibly lucky, the only way you can achieve success is by taking 100% responsibility for every aspect of your business. Now, that doesn't mean you have to do everything, understand. Nobody wants to work 412 hours a week. I know there's not 412 hours in a week. That's the point. Nobody wants to work that much. We have to have some off time. We have to have time to sleep. We have to have time for family, right, et cetera, et cetera. I get all that. So I'm not saying to you that you have to do everything, but you have to be responsible for everything. When you delegate, you've got to follow up. As uh, Chris Mullins often says, you, don't, you, you can't expect what you don't inspect. I think it's a little hokey, but it's true. Chris Mullins, by the way, is not hokey. She's brilliant. But that little saying is hokey. Anyway, that's enough for today. That's what the mask debate can teach you. If you want to tell other people to wear a mask to protect you, if you're going to put your health and make the, your health their responsibility, then they get to tell you what you get to do with your uh, to make sure that you stay healthy too. If you want to take control and hand, take control of yourself, take control of your situation, take care of your own health, or in the case of your business, of course, take care of your own business and stop putting, uh, uh, stop putting blame and stop allowing other people, stop putting responsibility to other people and start accepting all of the responsibility yourself, you're going to find yourself a lot healthier and a lot more successful. So until tomorrow, have a good one. Bye.